Alrighty guys, can you guess what today's project is? You guessed it, we're tearing down the 7770 to replace the thermal compound that it already has on there because the factory stuff is always crap. So we have our small screwdriver, rubbing alcohol, um, piece of paper towel, a cloth, and the little socket to remove the uh, thingamajigs on the ends of the video card. So without further ado, let's get started. I don't have a tripod, so this is going to be like an update video every time I do something. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so we have the spring-loaded uh, retention bracket taken off. Uh, all it requires is a really fine-tipped, quite small screwdriver to get those four screws. They're spring-loaded on the bottom. And you just remove the uh, four screws from here. Next thing we have to do is move the card around to the front. Remove these two things and this screw here. So I'll be right back and we'll get... Alrighty guys, so we have those things removed. Now there is a screw right there that's holding this on. But I presume all we have to do is flip this card over. Oh, yeah, just like that. Holy crap. And you flip the card over and you can pull that off just like so. And then we have to undo that connector. And uh, yeah, the thermal paste that was on this thing wasn't very great. I could already tell that much. Um, so once we get this apart, then I will get back to you. If I had a tripod, this would be so much easier. But uh, alright, once you have the two halves disconnected from each other, all you want to do is take your preferably 99% isopropyl uh, alcohol, I have 70%, which still works fine, and you want to dab just a bit onto that paper towel there and rub the GPU and the cooler off and rub the thermal paste off of them until they are clean and then take a cloth um, and go over them to remove any oily residue that may be left over. So I'm going to do that right quick and I'll be back. Alright, so once you get the uh, GPU block and GPU itself cleaned, then what you're going to want to do is take your thermal compound. Oh, by the way, I was right. The thermal compound on this thing was already going hard and crusty. It was that gray factory crap that is no good. So hopefully I'll see a decent uh, temperature um, reduction by doing this. Uh, all right. Anyway, you want to take your thermal compound, remove the cap, and apply a pea-sized dot um, on the GPU. So we're going to do that. Alrighty, once you have your pea-sized dot, you can either do one of two things. You can place the cooler on it and let the cooler spread out the pea-sized dot, or you could spread that pea-sized dot across the entire um, die yourself. That is one I did because I like to make sure that it covered the entire die just like the factory did. So, once you have that done, then you have to line this up with that and place it perfectly without like wrecking the thermal paste. So I'm going to do that now as well. Alright, once you've lined that up and got it where it needs to be, the only thing you have left to do is to reapply the bracket on the back for tension. So get that lined up and then kind of tighten it down in a cross pattern. And I'm going to need probably both hands to do this. Yeah, I will. So I have to put down the camera again. Unless I can find some way to kind of hold it there. I'm not really pointing at anything, am I? Nice. Oops. Shit. That's one thing you don't want to do. Right there. Probably didn't damage anything, but it's a lot easier doing this with both hands, not just one. Yep, 
you don't want to tighten them down all the way just keep going in your cross pattern until they're all tight because it'll spread the uh, thermal paste unevenly so that's done now the other thing you have to do spin the card around and reinsert the uh, thing so you can actually screw in your uh, connections just gonna get them started like that now the one thing I wanted to do but wasn't able to do because I couldn't get the damn screws out was I actually wanted to take the GPU block from the uh, cover itself and go wash it out remove the fan and wash out the uh, heat sink because it's not dirty but I could see a light layer like a very light dust on there and that's the easiest way to clean it so I was going to do that but I can't get the screws out because uh, using that doesn't really give you a whole lot of torque to break the screws free so that didn't really work which was kind of disappointing so I'll have to get like a can of air and uh, blow it out that way but oh, I'm gonna need both hands to do that last screw but pretty much get those snug you don't want to go he-man on them once those are snugged up then I'm gonna put down the camera for a second and put in that last screw Alrighty guys, so that's how you replace the thermal paste on a GPU. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. You can see the light dusting I was talking about inside the fins. It's just barely on there, but I wanted to clean it off. But uh, I'm going to go reinstall this, boot the system, and stress test it, pretty much. And see how much lower the temps are. So I will talk to you guys later.